Hey guys, this is a video on flat engagement of the kip. This applies especially to keeping pull-ups, but also to keeping toes to bar, um, and in some measure to keeping uh, bar muscle-ups. The idea here is to create a window of time to, to learn how to use the muscles of your back, to create a little bit of time here on the hollow position. We're often very focused on the arch position of the keep, just because the arch position is the one that creates the momentum backwards, right? And so, and also it's because it's very attractive to most most people, and most people see that nice arch, and they try to go really, really hard, really open, and they, there's a lot of loss of tension there, and so it becomes a not very productive position. And so that's why we often emphasize that position. But the hollow position, and, and you know, like because the better your arch is, the better your hollow position is, right? Like the hollow doesn't affect that much the arch. Um, it goes this way, and so that's why we usually focus on the arch. But during the hollow part of the keep, there's one consideration that is important, and is learning how to create time for yourself a little bit, and how to stay, uh, how to keep the back engaged. So the first, in order to really understand that. The first thing that you need to understand is that in the part, in the back part of the hollow, we're going to create time and tension by pressing that bar down, by compressing our whole lower back in a hollow, but also really pressing that bar down. So the first thing, uh, if you're watching this video, is because you probably are going to be doing keeping something in your workout, uh, and so. Uh, before you do your specific work, do the following two drills and, and, and this will be enough. So the first one is here on the ground. You're going to grab the midi part, uh, the midi muscle right under your scapula. This is your scapula right here. Grab this. That's your lat. And what I want you to do is you're going to extend this arm. You're going to rotate the elbow in and then you're going to press down. And what you'll feel is how that muscle is kind of contracted and moving that is your lat uh, you don't have to think about your lat when you know like when people say they can get your lats and you're like I don't know how to do that you're still doing it don't worry but now you have awareness of it uh, <laughs> good that's the first thing that's what I want you to think and so that's the movement that we're going to be doing here and then press that bar down right uh, and that's what we call lat engagement in this movement good and then the second drill that I would like you to do when you're thinking about this before you start to apl apply it to your warm-up drills or to your, or, or, or to your uh, workout itself uh, is the following. You're going to start your keep, you're going to go from arch to hollow and with each repetition you're going to try to work hold the hollow for a second, just hold a nanosecond back there creating a lot of tension with the arms just like we were saying there, right? Like rotating the elbows in, pressing the arms down. Let me show you how it looks. And again, you're, it doesn't matter Like if you record yourself, it doesn't matter if you really hold it or not, but you're trying and you're gonna feel like you are. And so that's what matters. So I'm gonna start here, right? Stabilize, arch. Right, then I'm, I'm just creating that little uh, bit of time there for myself. Uh, and I just want you to feel that engagement and you'll feel how you can actually hold it for a second if you've been doing pulses or anything like that if you're working with me you have been and so you this will feel very familiar right once you can do that if you're thinking about pull-ups for example or let's do pull-ups first that little moment is gonna allow you to pull right like so I'm gonna be able to hear pull 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 so you'll see that it's a uh, a movement like that, right? And that little bit of time uh, is gonna allow you to really focus on keeping the the hollow. And in the toes to art, it's gonna allow you to have time, right? So if you're here in the toes to art, we're so focused on touching the art or getting the legs so high that we forget all that little bit of time that we need to create for, for ourselves. And so if you start by doing that, you're gonna have way more time to raise the legs, right? And so, just just create yourself, just create the time for you so that so that you can 
you have time to bring those legs up, right? Like just creating that nanosecond is gonna be uh, very productive. I'm sorry, I didn't give you the best toes to are there. My feet were all over the place. But uh, I just wanted you to see the creating of the, of the timing. That is it. Lat engagement on the, on the keep is from there that we create the time. And as you'll see, that's how we work the lats in the keep. Uh, give it a try.